Uh, first, we're going to have Dow DuPont. Uh, they have now merged, uh, and the company's uh, name is Dow DuPont Inc., with a market cap of $167 billion. Obviously, no PE or dividend yield yet, although you could do the calcs yes, of the uh, adding the two together. I remember when this was first discussed, the sort of overall number they reckon when the merger happened was about $130 billion. So we've already seen nearly $40 billion of value creation. Yeah, look, it's massive. And when you study what they've said, I mean, it's all very new. I mean, literally the merger was only finished two months ago. Mm. But when they discuss in the whole logic behind the merger, there's effectively two things that they're doing. First of all, there's big cost synergies. So whether that's three billion or four billion dollars over time, and they also say it can be, they can get this quite quickly within two years of the merger. Now that increase in the market cap can just be purely attribu attributed to the cost savings and the, and the mm. synergies and the benefits from the merger, which they, which they expect. And you know, knowing American companies, they'll probably deliver on as well. But then the second thing they're doing, which is maybe equally as important, is they're going to split this into three separate units. So they're going to have agriculture, speciality chemicals or speciality products mm. and then call it their their base the materials the materials business. handling yeah. business yeah so that's interesting so they've merged in order to separate, separate so they yeah. see a lot of synergies between those three sectors yeah. um, i know dupont were a lot bigger on the agricultural side mm. um dow more on the specialized side um i mean the the uh, agricultural side dominating now yes. in corn and in soybeans which is obviously massive um, there's been quite a lot of investor um, ac activism happening here. Dan Lubb is, uh, was on the board of, of uh, Dow, uh, or sorry, DuPont, got quite involved there. Um, apparently, with the specialist materials, there was concerns that silicon was going to go to normal materials, not specialists. Yeah. So, so there, there was, was a lot of... There was a lot of reshuffling. They moved a lot of stuff out of the original the original uh, Dow, the, the original DuPont business mm. out of out of special specialities into materials handling. So there is still some reshuffling, I suppose, of the deck chairs to get everything into the right area first before they list. But I mean, the, the businesses that they shuffled from the one business unit to the other was about $8 billion worth of turnover. I mean, it's massive businesses mm. that they're shuffling around. And I suppose any merger itself causes uncertainty because you don't know ultimately what you're going to get. But in all of their documentation relating to the merger, they were very, very strong on this merger of equals, mm. Mm. you know, to try and, I suppose, allay fears, stop senior people departing. So even their board of directors was 50-50 from the one company and the other company to try and maintain this this uh, uh, view that it is a, a merger of equals and not uh, not Dow taking over Dupont. Mm. And they've brought in Ed Breen, who's a uh, M&A specialist and breaks mm. up business as well. He's got a good history of that. If you have a look at the share price, you can see that the market is anticipating yes. a value unlock from there's these a lot, splits. There's a lot of good news. It's I the would talk think. of Wall Street at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a massive merger. These two companies are, um, are stalwarts of the American industrial machine, as yeah. it, you know, what's left of it, put it that way. <laughs> and it's clearly a seriously large merger. I mean, it must be one of the largest this year. And mm. it's, I suppose it's the only excitement out of the tech, you know, other than what's in the tech sector is this merger of essentially, well, not old school, but old established mm. companies to try and get some synergies and to try and unlock value. And, you know, as we spoke about earlier on, the big unlock is to actually, not just the cost saving, is to mm. split this into these three identifiable businesses. Well, the units. investment bankers must be licking Ooh, their lips. They, and, and these <laughs> things take time. Eh? I mean, make no yeah. mistake, these things take time and there's, and it's fraught with difficulties. Any, any merger or demerger mm. is, 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 is an arduous process that, you know, a lot of things can actually go wrong in all of this. And the biggest risk you actually take is losing your senior people who don't like the way things are done mm. now or don't like being shuffled into a particular area. So that's so one on of the, the back of all of this, hot or not? No. Not hot. I would sit and wait. Two reasons. Mm. First of all, all the uncertainty we've just been talking about. And secondly, share prices run here. Yeah. Mm. It's run strongly. So mm. there's a lot of good news in that price, I would think. I'm going to go hot on this because I still think there's a p potential value unlock even more so from no, here. Could be, yeah. I think the specialized material looks very interesting because that's the screens and the silicone that yeah. goes in the GPU trips and, you know, the, the kind of 
uh, demand of the new world, this new mm. big uh, technology revolution we're seeing. These are the inputs to that. Yes. So that's pretty exciting. But of course, you could possibly buy that later on when that separately lists. But I'm going to stay hot on that.